Hi everyone, welcome to my home. My name is Jane. Today, I wanted to share with you a special occasion dish. It's called kalbichim, or Korean braised beef short ribs. It is juicy, tender, melt in your mouth delicious. We grew up eating this on special occasions such as birthdays and holidays. But I've decided every day is a special occasion and we should be eating this more often. The first thing we need to do is make our braising liquid. So in my big bowl here, I already have some soy sauce. To that, I'm going to add rice wine. Now, if you don't have rice wine, you can add mirin. Okay, rice wine. And then we're gonna add sugar. We're going to add honey. I'm gonna use my spatula to get the honey out. There we go. We're gonna need garlic, minced garlic. Grated ginger and sesame seeds. And we're gonna mix this all together. And this will be our braising liquid that we put into the pot with our short ribs. The next thing we're gonna do is prepare our short ribs. So these are bone-in beef short ribs. And before I start cooking this, I need to trim the fat and also score the meat because when you do that, it allows all the flavors to infuse into the meat and also make the meat more tender. So let me take one of these and there's a layer of fat on here. So I'm going to trim that off. This is one of my favorite dishes. It is so delicious. Everyone at home likes this. That looks pretty good to me. The scraps are gonna go in my white bowl here and then I'm gonna do the same with all of my ribs. So all the fat has been trimmed off and now I'm going to score the meat. Basically what you do is you can cut, mix scores right to the bone. Just a few cuts like this. And again, this is going to help infuse all of the flavors of the braising liquid. And I'm gonna do that with all of my short ribs. I went ahead and rinsed my short ribs to get rid of the blood and bony fragments. And now I'm going to blanch it in boiling water for about five minutes. As you can see, we've been blanching the short ribs for about five minutes and a bunch of scum have accumulated on the surface of the water. So now I'm going ahead and remove that scum because I don't want that to transfer over to my short ribs when we're about ready to blend, uh, braise them. Now I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to transfer my short ribs into a clean pot. So to the short ribs, what I'm going to do is pour in the braising liquid that we had prepared earlier. And then the other thing I'm going to add is I need about three cups of water. Now, what I did was I reserved some of my water that, I, that came out of my shiitake mushrooms that were soaking. And so I combined the water from the shiitake mushrooms with another cup of water. And so now this is my three cups of water. This is going to come to a boil and we're gonna let this brace for an hour. It's time for the veggies to go in my pot of kalbichi. Let's take a look. It's been braising and the smell is amazing. The aroma, it looks really, really good. We're halfway there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my vegetables. First, the mushrooms, carrots, onion, potatoes, and radish. And then we're gonna let this cook for another 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, my veggies and kavichim have been braising now for another 30 minutes. Looking really good. Now, I took the lid off at this point because I want the liquid to thicken a little bit before we um, put it in our serving bowl. My kalbi jim is ready. It looks delicious, smells amazing. 
Now, some of them are so tender that it fell off the bone. So that's the one I got on my plate. And let me show you, I'm not even gonna use a knife. I'm just using a fork and spoon. So look how nicely this falls apart. Look how tender this is. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna have it with a little bit of my rice. Whoops, here we go, so good. I have a little bit of mushroom here. The shiitake mushrooms are great because it soaks in all the flavors too. It also has a consistency of, of the rib. The kalbi jin pairs really well with rice and of course a little bit of kimchi on the side. Mm, it's gonna be a huge hit. Delicious. Give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's really worth it. If you like the video, please give it a like, comment, and share. And also don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so we'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.